what is the best way to learn physics? What are the best books to buy? What are the best courses to take? When is the best time to work on physics? All of these questions have answers, but this video is not about those questions. Instead, it's about something even more important because the most important thing when it comes to learning physics is your ability to sit down and actually do physics. If you can get yourself to sit down and actually do physics, you will learn physics. Even if it seems really hard, even if it seems like you're barely learning, if you have the ability to actually sit down and work on physics for say an hour a day, you're going to get better. You're going to get better. It's the consistency that will take you far. I used to have this teacher, he was a, a, my linear algebra professor. And one day we were in his office and I was there with a friend of mine. And my friend said, well, what's the best way for me to, you know, really understand this material? I think linear algebra is really cool. How, how can I learn this? And he looked at my friend and he said, do a little bit every day. And I thought, wow, every day. And that's what he said, every day. This guy was a genius. This teacher was a two-time Putnam winner. Putnam is like the biggest math competition in the U.S. I mean, the guy was a genius. And still, he recommended every day. The same applies to physics. If you sit down and you do a little bit every day, you're going to get better. So how can you do that? It's easy for me to say, do physics every day. But that doesn't help you because you still have to be able to do it. The secret the secret to actually sitting down and doing physics every day, besides maybe having a genuine love for the subject, because if you love physics and you think it's super interesting, then you're going to sit down and you're going to do it every day. But let's pretend you don't. Let's pretend that you kind of like it, or maybe you don't like it, and you have to learn it because maybe you're in the class. How can you get yourself to do physics if you're in that situation? If you're in a situation where you don't absolutely love physics, but you kind of have to do it. Because that's most people. Really, that's most people. Well, you need reasons. Reasons. Reasons are the reason we do everything in life. You get up in the morning for a reason. You eat in the morning because you're hungry. That's a reason. You go to work because, well, you have to because that's a reason. You need money to live. Or maybe you like your job, so that's another reason. But we have reasons for everything. You need a good reason to study physics. Being in the physics class and being in college, I think is a pretty good reason. If you're in a physics class, this is the only time in your life you're in that class. In 20 years, you are not going to be in that physics class. You'll be 20 years older. The physics class will be your past. Maybe it won't matter so much if you got an A or a B or a C, but it might. I've seen, I've seen people get scholarships and people not get scholarships because one student had a B and one student had an A and... I've seen it make a pretty big impact and I've seen situations where it doesn't really matter. You know, this person got a C in a certain class and they have a great life. We can't determine those things though. You can't determine that because you can't predict the future. The only thing you can control is now. So if you're in a physics class now, just by the very fact that you're in that class, do it, right? Go do some physics, get better. Because in 20 years, you won't be in that class. But you might need a bigger reason. And that's where you have to dig deep. You have to dig really deep. You have to ask yourself, why are you even here? Why are you in the class? What is the purpose? Most people who are in physics are not physics majors. They are engineering majors. They are math majors. They are computer science majors. They're not physics majors. So if you're in a physics class, chances are, you're not a physics major. In which case, it's kind of like you're in this class that you might not like. So how can you get yourself to do it? Again, you just have to dig deep. Why are you even in school, right? What is the point? Also, physics, if you're an engineering major, it's something you're going to use in your later classes. Like it's important to know the physics knowledge. So the more physics you know, the easier it's gonna make your future classes. It's gonna make a big difference. It's gonna help you a lot. And again, it really is about your life, finding your reason. Why are you going to school? 
What kind of job do you want to get when you're done? And why? Think about those questions. And I think that's what can get you to do physics when you don't want to. That's what will put you on the path of doing a little bit of physics every day. The best way to learn physics, again, is to just do a little bit every day. And that's more important than the book. It's more important than what course to take. Because again, you can spend days doing research, buying different books, buying different courses, thinking you're gonna look at the course, but then you never look at the physics course. We all do it. It's way more fun and it's way easier to plan out our future than to actually take action and put in the work, especially if it's something that you don't really want to do. And if you're watching this video, you might have that feeling. You might think, I like physics, I think it's interesting, but I don't want to do it all the time. And I think most of us are there. For most fields, right? It doesn't matter how much you love something, you probably don't want to do it all the time. Even if you're a physics major, you might be having those thoughts. And I think that's okay. I'm here to tell you that's okay, that's normal. Even if you're a physics major, there's some days that you're not gonna wanna do physics. Same thing with mathematics. I majored in mathematics. I studied mathematics for years and there were some days that I just didn't want to do math. And there were some math subjects that I didn't like. So the same might be true for physics. There might be some courses that you don't like. Maybe it's the teacher, maybe it's the book. There's some reason that you don't want to work on it. But that's why you need those good reasons. So find your reason. Once you can find your reason for doing what you're doing, that is what's going to get you to learn. And that is more important than any book, than any course, is finding that reason. I really think the reason is you, it's your life. If you're trying to learn physics, that means you're probably in a course. That means you're probably in college. That means you're trying to get a better life. Your life matters. Go do some physics. If you don't have a physics book, you do need one. And if you already have a physics book and you don't like it and you're just having a hard time because you hate your book, I do have one I can recommend. It's right here. This is the one by Giancoli. I will put a link in the description in case you want to check it out. And you can get used copies, probably fairly affordable. You know, the prices change because, you know, used copies run out. But this is one that is pretty good and it has pretty good explanations. And it's probably not the one you're using for your course. So if you're, if you're taking a physics course, you're probably using another one of the more popular books. And that's why I'm recommending this one because it helps to have more than one. And that, that might make you a little bit more motivated. So I'm not saying it's not good to have different resources. I'm not saying it's not good to have different books and I'm not saying it's not good to buy courses. What I am saying though is you need to find your reason and sit down and do it. Anyways, if you wanna learn mathematics, I do have math courses, not physics courses, sorry. They are on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but please use the links through my website. I have courses on algebra, calculus, which you need for physics, advanced calculus, abstract algebra, etc. Also, if you're not a subscriber and you found any value in this content, consider hitting subscribe. And remember, more importantly than anything, it's your ability to actually sit down and do physics. So find your reasons, find out why it matters to you. You know, why are you in college? That's what's going to keep you going. That's what kept me going when I had to take all of these classes that I didn't want to take. You know, I hated biology. I hated it. Looking back, I really should have cared more, but I didn't at the time for whatever reason. It just, I just didn't like it. And I struggled. But what kept me going, what, what forced me to study was the fact that it was my life, right? It's your life. Go out there and do some physics.